They have been dominant figures in college basketball for over two decades. Each has won over 700 games. And in 2001, John Chaney and Mike Krzyzewski were inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame together. And I remember uh, sitting there uh, after I'd finished listening to, uh, to Mike talk about uh, his family, his pop, and, his, uh, and, and I tell you, it was, I was coming down in tears. John is a pioneer. You know, I think the younger people out there don't know, they think a pioneer is someone with a coonskin hat and, uh, you know, a big gun or whatever, a, co gun. a covered <laughs> wagon or whatever. But if you, there's no better example of what college basketball has done to advance race relationships, you know, unification in our society than to follow his career. I don't even get that, Judge. Yeah. Here's Reddick, who's been quiet so far. Long yeah. three, give it not three. Anymore. Reddick, they can't let him heat up from beyond the arc. Duke with the two-point lead. Scott Reese gets the updated in the studio after this break. Now low, kicking it out to Ewing. And the Blue Devils not shooting awfully well either. Six of 19. Despite the, the deficit and rebounding, that's part of Temple's M.O. As I mentioned before, minus six per game. They're at a deficit in rebounding. Reddick gets another one. He hit a three just a few moments ago, and now he's got six in the game and a three-point lead for the Blue Devils. And you look at Mark Tyndale's body language as he went out there to contest that shot. Just can't believe that the guy's got that kind of range. with the two three-pointers so that for a career there you see it he's 94.1 and a spot and, and a third chance Salisbury over Dockery short Reddick starts the break Temple is in danger zone right here the quick shot a turning into easy baskets for Duke Nothing more dangerous than a Reddick three either. That's his third. He's got 11. John Chaney sits and watches. No timeout. But it's a double-digit lead for the Blue Devils. Chin rolling early in the second half. 49-39. J.J. Reddick is third three of the game. Nuance and adjustments that are made throughout the game. They make you look bad. Reddick. Just a bit of room, and J.J. Reddick lets fly with a deep three. He's got four of those. He's got 14 points. Well, the pressure right now, but they haven't gotten the easy opportunities that they had in the first half. Duke doing a nice job of taking better care of the ball. Look at everybody paying attention to Reddick. <laughs> Even though they fly at him, two men. Reddick hits another three. He's got five of those. He's heating up here in the second half. Pat his chest and say, my bad, because he didn't step in the block out. Redick. Perfect. That's a push it to a three-possession game right now, which will make it even harder for Temple. Collins has got the middle that he can work at. Now it's a lot of pressure on him. There's Ewing. They'll go ahead and follow him, or try at least. Yep, he'll go back to the free throw line. That'll be automatic, and that should do it. Well, let's cheer you here. Obviously, appreciation for this Duke team, but it's also a sigh of relief. No doubt. You come into this game in John Chaney's club with a record of 5-5. Five and five. If you're uh, one of the Cameron crazies or just a Duke fan here at 10-0, you expect it to win this, and maybe it's a little, even, a little closer than uh, they even thought it would be. But there is maybe a little history. The miss by Reddick at the free throw line. The undefeated, look at that, Illinois and Purdue 15-0, BC, Duke, and Kansas. So Duke the other night. 